Hello. In this session, we're going to focus on upper quadrant tone and stretching. And again, we're just using sort of an on off pressure where we contract a certain bit and then we let it stretch for a certain bit using our own body and some soft props. You're going to use a chair at some point. So to sit up tall, it's easy to sit up on a chair so your whole spine can be tall. The first thing we're going to do is actually laying on your stomach. Laying on a pillow, the pillow supports my pubic bone to my lower ribs, and I'm going to use a towel here to support my head, neck, and shoulders. I'm going to have one arm out long to the side. Let me get so you can see me. All right? Pubic bone to breastbone on the pal, on the towel, on the pillow. One arm long to the side. Let your forehead rest down. Now, you're going to gently let your heart lift up and twist away from that long arm. All you're going to do, you're going to push that palm into the floor. Easy. Push strongly. And as you release the pressure of your palm, let your heart lift up and twist. Hold the chest where it is. Push the palm and arm towards the floor strongly. Easy. Breathing and then release and then let hold that twist. Adjust if you have to. Again, three more. Push the palm against the floor. Let your chest lift up and rotate. Mm -hmm. And then release that pressure. Keep twisting two more times. Push the palm and arm down against the floor strongly without letting your body untwist. And then release that one more time. You're doing great. Again, push that palm against the floor. Let your chest lift up and rotate. Really good job. And then release the pressure. Twist your chest up the whole time. And then unwind to release. I'm going to switch the arms. The other hand could be on the floor, other arm is long. I'm going to lift my torso up, twisting away from that long arm side. Stay here now, the long arm. Push the palm and arm against the floor strongly, as if you're trying to push the floor down. As you release the pressure, make sure your chest lifts up and twists. You didn't lose any of that rotation. Stay there, push that long arm palm against the floor, breathing. You got it, uh-huh. Release that pressure. Let your chest lift up and twist. Really great job. Three more. Again, push that long arm palm against the floor strongly. Easy. Very good. Release that pressure. Make sure you're lifting and twisting. Two more times. Again, push that palm against the floor. Easy. Great job. Breathing. Release that pressure. Make sure you're lifting and twisting. One more time. Push that long arm palm down strongly. Easy. Breathe. Uh-huh. Release the pressure, chest up to twist, and then unrelease, unwind, all the way down. That was great. This next one, we're gonna do sitting. You might need a yoga strap. That would be the easiest way to perform it. All right. So I'm gonna put my wrist in one loop of a strap. I'm gonna pull the arm across my body. You can use your hand here if you have that range of motion, that's fine as well. All that you're going to do is you're going to try and straighten the elbow here. So you're going to try and push the arm away from your body, but don't let the arm move. And then release that. Great job. Try to straighten your elbow here. Push the hand away from your body, but don't let the arm move. Easy. As you release, pull it back towards you. Keep it as close to you as you can. Try to push away. Easy. Breathe nice and tall. Great job. And then release. Two more there. Again, keep the arm where it is, close as you can. Try to push that hand and arm away from you. Easy. Great job. And release. One more time. Very good. Again, try to push that arm away from you. Really great job. Yeah. And release. Rest. Great job. Other side. Again, feel free to use the strap if you need assistance there. It's totally great. All right? Pull the arm across your body as much as you can. Now, try and push this hand and arm away from you, keeping it right where it is as much as you can. A lot of force on both arms here. As you release the pressure, really pull that arm closer into the arm that's across your body. Try and push the hand and try and straighten the elbow. Try and push, 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 push. Breathe deeply. Great job. Release, pull it closer to you. The closer to you is important. It's where the stretch is. Push, easy breathe. Nice and tall. The crown of your head, look away from the floor. Release the pressure, pull it closer to you. Two more. Great job. Try to press it away from you. Very nice job. Easy, uh-huh. Then release, pull it towards you more, one more time. Great job there, nice and tall. Again, try to press that arm away from you. Push, 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 push. You got it. Release and pull it closer to you. 
and then rest. Great job. Going to use the loop on the other hand going behind. I'll turn around here. Behind your head. The other arm grabs low on that strap. Sitting up nice and tall. Right? Try to have the elbow point up towards the sky as much as you can. If it only goes so far, that's where you go as far as you have no pain or strain. All they're going to do, the hand that's in that loop, you're going to try and push it up towards the sky. Push, 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 push. Release and pull it down. Gain some traction there. Keep it where it is. Try to push that arm up to the sky. Great job. Breathing. Uh-huh. And then release and pull it down a little further if you can. Adjust if you need to. Again, try to push that arm up to the sky. Up, 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 up. Breathe. Easy. Uh-huh. Pull it down to release. Two more there. Great job. Again, try to press that arm up, 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 up. Very nice job. Pull down to release. One more time. Really good work. Again, breathe tall. Try to press that arm up, 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 up. Really great job. Release the pressure and pull and stretch. Breathe. Release the bottom arm. Release the top arm. And we're going to switch sides. Excellent work there. So I really rec recommend you use it around the wrist so your fingers don't get over tight. Easy. Mm -hmm. Grab it up the strap as far as you can comfortably. And I mean comfortable to both shoulders, not just the top shoulder, but the bottom shoulder as well. Both shoulders are strong, quite active here. Here we go. That top side hand, try and push that hand up. Up, 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 sitting up nice and tall, look away from the floor. Now release the push and pull more with that bottom arm. Easy. Keep it there. Try and push that arm up, 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 nice and tall. Try not to curl forward. Chest up and out, see the horizon. Release the press of the top arm, pull with the bottom arm even more. Easy, great job. And again, try and press that top arm up. Tall, 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 tall. Easy, look away from the floor. Release the top arm, pull with the bottom arm, breathing. Really great job, two more there. Try to press that top arm up, 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 up. Really nice job, breathing, grow tall. Release the top arm, pull with the bottom arm, just one more time. Again, try to press that top arm up. Really great job there, easy, nice. Release the top arm. Pull with the bottom arm, pull, grow tall, try not to shrink, grow tall. And then gentle release the bottom arm, release the top arm. Oh, that was a real burner. All right, the next one, we're going to lay on our side, we're going to lay over a pillow. Feel free to use a head for your block here. As you rest over, feel free to not use a block if you're more comfortable that way. Here, my ribs, my ribs are over a pillow or cushion. Head can be on the floor, on a block, whatever works best for you. Take your top arm long by your ear. If it doesn't go by your ear comfortably, you can have it in front of your face. Your bottom hand has your top wrist. Bend your bottom knee forward. Try to have the top knee bent down towards the floor and behind you if you can. If not, the knee can be forward and or leg straight and long. But knee down towards the floor and a little behind you is the goal. Easy. Now, holding on with this bottom hand in any way that you can. You're going to pull the top arm, pull it away from you, easy breathe. Mm -hmm. Now, this top side hip, you're going to press that hip down away from you. Press, 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 and then gentle release. As you keep pulling the arm with the bottom hand, this top hip, press it down. So pressing this knee down to the floor, this top side knee, will really help with that feeling. Press it down, 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 four, without pushing your head down markedly. And then release that hip, pull the arm. Again, press that top hip down, press that top knee down, looking forward, three. Pull the arm gently, and a little release, two more there. Again, press that top knee down, pull the arm gently, looking forward, try not to twist or rotate, two. Uh-huh, a little release, one more time. Pull the arm, press the top knee and hip down. Press, 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 press. Pull and breathe. Really great job there. And then gentle, carefully release. Oh, that is intense. We're gonna go to the other side. Again, you're only gonna go as far as you have no pain or strain, always. Laying on your side, your ribs are over the cushion. Bottom knee is bent forward. Let your head rest on the block or not. That's your choice. Every side's gonna feel different. Your top arm is long by your ear. Your top knee is bent, foot behind you, knee behind you as far as you can. If it won't go that far, you can have the knee forward or have the leg be long, right? 
it's easy to press the knee down toward the floor if the knee is bent, but that may not work for you exactly. This bottom hand is going to pull the top arm here the whole time gently. You can have any grip that works for you. Now, all we do, keep pulling the top arm. I'm going to press the top hip and knee down away from you. Press, 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 press. Easy. Great job. And a little release. Keep pulling the arm gently. Let your head rest. Again, press down. Keep pulling the arm as you press that top hip and knee down. Gently, no pain or strain, for easy, great job, and a little release, you got it, and again, chest looking forward, press down, reach that knee and hip away from you, pull with the arm, easy, breathing, three, really nice job, a gentle release, two more, again, easy, press down, stretch, easy, enjoy, mm -hmm. two, that's really great, a little release, one more time, keep the arm pulled gently, Press that top hip and knee down. Stretch the arm. Looking forward. Excellent work, everyone. Easy breathe. You got it. And then release the arm. Bring that knee in a bit. Twist forward to come out of there. Excellent work. We're going to start sitting on a chair next. And all this up and down it actually helps your uh, body uh, be less, the floor be less aggressive on it because it's a lot of tension. Now, we're going to have one elbow over the other one. Wrap your fingers around your body as much as you can, right? That's the goal. All that you're going to do is keeping your arms where they are. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other as much as you can without losing grip on the arms. Breathing, sit up tall. As you release that, pull the arms more towards the back of your body. And again, squeeze your shoulder blades together so they can touch each other back there. Pull them together. Easy breathe. Great job. As you release that, can those fingers walk further behind you? Three more here. Again, try to pull your shoulder blades together as much as you can. Grow very, very tall. Breathing. You got it. And then release that. Walk your fingers around more. Two more there. Again, draw your shoulder blades together. Easy as if the elbows are trying to separate one away from the other one, east to west. That's right. And then release, walk those fingers more. One more time. Again, easy. Draw the shoulder blades together behind you so that they can touch each other behind you. Can they come together more, 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 more? And then release that as you walk your fingers around even further. And then rest. Whatever was, arm was on top, take note of it. Oh, that was really great. Now you're going to reverse the other elbow on top. Yes, yum, 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 yum. Sitting up nice and tall. Feet flat on the floor. And again, fingers behind you as far as they will walk. Try and squeeze. Go ahead, squeeze those shoulder blades together away from, uh, towards each other. Elbows try and go away from each other. Then as you release, walk those fingers further behind you. Crawl them back more. And then keep them there. Try and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Grow tall. Tall, 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 tall. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. You got it. And then release and walk the fingers even more. You're doing great. You can always take a break. Again, grow tall. Look away from the floor. Squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other. Come on. Each other. Each other more. More towards each other. Really great job. Release and walk those fingers more. Just two more to go here. Again, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze them together. Squeeze them together even more. And then release that fingers, even walk further, one more time, great job. Again, the border of your shoulder blades comes towards your spine, towards each other, squeezing them together back there, easy, breathe. Uh-huh, release that squeeze, walk your fingers close together, are your fingers touching each other yet? Maybe, maybe not, maybe yes, here we go. And then gently, slowly, oh my gosh, release all of that. That was really well done. Now, this next one. I'm going to sit halfway off my chair, right? My palm is down on the chair. I'm going to rotate those fingers around as much as I personally can. Easy breathe. All I'm going to do, I'm going to press my head away from the arm that's pushing down. I'm pushing my head to the side, pushing the arm down. Easy breathe. Easy, easy, easy. Mm-hmm and then release that, that's all that you're doing. Press the arm down as you're pushing the chair down and let your head go away from that arm pressing. Easy, breathe, four, take your time. Mm -hmm. And then release that, good job. 
Again, press the arm down, let your head just tilt away, really reach your head over there actively. Easy pushing down, uh-huh, and then release that. Two more. Again, press the chair down, stretch your fingers wide, chest nice and tall, head bends away. Really great job. And then release, one more time. Again, press the chair down, easy, head to the side, press, 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 breathing deeply. Release, let your head stretch further. Now, just release the arm gently. Slowly bring your chin towards your chest, twisting. Then bring it down to the middle. Then slowly lift your head up nice and tall. And other side, I'm gonna sit on the edge of my chair. So one hip is not on the chair. Palm on the chair. I'm gonna rotate those fingers around as far as you can comfortably. Nice and tall. I'm pressing the arm down, my head's bending away from the arm that's pressing down, right? Easy, press the arm down, reach your head over to the side. Eyes and chest up, try not to look at the floor. I am actively pushing on the floor here with my legs as well. Release the pressure of the arm, keep the head stretching in that direction. Again, push the chair down, reach your head over. They go away from each other, arm down, head over, push the floor with those legs to help you. Release the arm, head stays over there, chest stays tall. And again, easy, press, stretch, reach, lengthen. Excellent work, everyone, breathe deeply. Uh huh. Release the arm, head stretches. I think we have two more to go, maybe. Again, press the chair down, head reaches over, stretch. Open, 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 breathe deeply. Mm -hmm. And release, make sure your shoulder's not rolling forward here, keep the chest open. And again, exhale, press down. So as you press down, don't let it scooch forward. Press down, head way over to the side, stretch. Open the head over to the side there. Keep the head there, release the arm, stay. Gently unwind the arm. Now, twist your chin towards that shoulder, look towards the floor. Then slowly bring your chin down toward your chest, center, easy. Then slowly roll all the way up, nice and tall, vertical, excellent job. We're gonna be on our stomach again, all these exercises, right? On your stomach, supporting yourself from your pubic bone to your breastbone. Mm -hmm. Great, arms are reaching out long, easy. If you want a towel here for your head, that's great as well, easy. Now, if this is too aggressive, doesn't feel good in your head, neck or shoulders, walk your arms further apart to like a Y shape versus an eye long by your ears. Let your head rest. All you do is you press your arms down, palms down against the floor quite strongly. And then release that, that's all you're doing. Without pressing your forehead, press your palms down against the floor strongly. Four, mm-hmm. And then release, really great job. Again, press your palms against the floor strongly, three. Mm -hmm. Great. And then release. Two more there. Again, press strongly down. Easy. Really good job. Mm -hmm. And release. One more time. Again, press the palm strongly down against the floor. Easy. Breathe. You got it. Let's do one more here. Again, let your head rest. Try not to press your head down. Press your palms down. Everything else is just taking a little rest, a little siesta. Great job. And then release, drag one elbow in, two elbows in, roll over to your side to come out of there. Really great job. Now this next one, I'm gonna orient the pillow east to west, so it supports me that way. I'm gonna place it right below my ribs, hands behind your head, and back bend over it, easy. Now, if that doesn't feel good to you, you can use a yoga block here to elevate your head higher. If that still doesn't feel good to you, Put something else on top that you'll like roll up a towel to get it even higher until you're in a place where you are comfortable. Easy, right? You should be able to be here for quite some time without pain or strain. Now things to watch out for here. I want you to bring your chin towards your chest just a little bit, not completely, just a bit. So your eyes go more towards the ceiling in front of your chest versus overhead where, you're, where you might be wanting to look, right? So just bring your chin to your chest a little bit, easy. Elbows towards each other. Keeping this position, keep your hips and feet on the floor. All that you're doing is gently 
pressing the back of your skull into your hands behind you. Gently breathe, even, and just release that pressure. Again, as you press the back of your skull, don't let your eyes and head tilt back. Keep your chin to your chest, don't let it tilt back. You can think of your breastbone, front of your breastbone, lifting up to the ceiling there. Easy, gently, uh-huh. Release, my elbows just open to the side so you can see what's going on with my face and I'm not letting it tilt back. Again, press the very back of your skull, not the top, the back of your skull against the hands to let your breastbone lift up towards the sky. Breathe, uh-huh, and release. You have two more to go. Again, easy, press the back of your skull into the floor to let your heart lift up, 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 mm -hmm. and release one more time. Again, gentle. Press the back of your skull into the floor. Let your heart lift up, 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 up. Really great, everyone. You got it. Really stay and breathe. Excellent work. Whoo! To dismount, I recommend you twist over to your side gently to come out of there. Now that could have been quite aggressive for many people, but that sense of back bending without being uh, overextending your neck is really foundational for many people. A lot of people need that to uh, gain long-term health and well-being for their joints. This last one. I know, last, tears. Sitting. The high, if it's uncomfortable, sit on the floor with your hips level with your feet. Try elevating your bum off the floor a bit. That will help you. So long as you don't feel like you're gonna cast backwards off of whatever you're sitting on, because we are gonna be doing a motion backwards. So like sitting on a firm box or cushion or a big chair would be helpful. Easy, sitting up nice and tall. You're just gonna push your body back away from your feet. Easy. So I'm really pressing my breastbone backwards here in the opposite way that we just did laying on her back. Stay there and then release the pressure. Great job. Now, if your feet are getting pulled together too much and it's uncomfortable, you can put a spacer or something between your feet so that when you push, your feet aren't getting slammed together uncomfortably. So I'm really pressing my breastbone back to the wall or whatever's behind me. Easy, push. Keep those heels down. Push, 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 push. Then release the push and just try and stay there and breathe. And again, push your breastbone, push those feet away from each other, relaxing your shoulders. Easy, breathe, really good job. Then release the pushing and just breathe. Really great job, three more to go. Again, push your feet down, press your breastbone, relax your shoulders, press the feet and breastbone away from each other. Great job. And just release. Two more here. Be gentle. Don't go crazy on the first couple. Easy. Breathe. The first time doing this video, yes, because you can do videos multiple times. Easy. And then release. Can be a gentle exploration. Then when you do it again, because <clears throat> you can do it again, you can do it more intense next time. Again, push, push, push. Easy, round, round, round. Really great job. Release the push, stay and breathe. One more time because I talk too much. Again, push the breastbone back against the wall behind you. Push the feet away from you into that band strongly. Really great job. Release the pressure, stay and breathe. And then gently, slowly bring your body up nice and tall and rest. Excellent work there. So there you have a whole series of upper body openings using a contract and release modality. And again, that's really foundational because that is how your body moves, right? You contract and release, contract and stretch, right? Your muscles are shortening and lengthening at all times, whether or not the joint's moving or not, that's the impulse of what's going on in your torso. It's a great way to think about things. I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.